Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com on a Saturday doing Jaspie's Friday Night Lights 8-box Random Team Football Mixer, Random Team Break number 3 from jazbeescasebreaks.com featuring all of these awesome boxes here. Some good stuff. Here are the folks involved in this break. Thanks boys and girls for getting in. All teams are in on this Random Team Mixer and let's randomize each list. Two and a two for the hard way. Your names first. One, two, three, and four. Got Daniel Anderson all the way down to Tony Barkey. Two and a two, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and four. Miami Dolphins all the way down to the Tehans. All right, so Daniel, you have the Dolphins. Charles Fergie with the Bucks. Jarrett Kay with the Saints. Jess with the Lions. John Mortellar with the Bears. Chris Parent with the Chargers. Brian Cook with the Redskins. Curtis, you got the Cards. E.O. with the Panthers. James with the Giants. Chris Parent with the Broncos. Matt Bodner with the Pats. Peter with the Bills. Greg with the Cowboys. Tony with the Bengals. David with the Titans. Casey Lawson, you got the Green Bay Packers with your last spot mojo. Richard with the Ravens. Jeremy Cote with the Jaguars. Uriz with the Browns. Nice. EO, Seahawks, Eagles for Daniel. Will, you have the Jets. Um, Jackie with the Rams. Tice, you got the Falcons. Derek with the Raiders. You got my Raiders. Brian Dorman with the Vikings. Gilo with the Niners. Iraiz with the Colts. Uh, Richard Fox with the Chiefs. Eric Newton with the Steelers. And Tony Barkey with the Texans. All right, so let's... Sort by column B. All right, we'll give it a few moments. Daniel Anderson's going to try the old, old Eagles for Browns. It's worth a shot, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All right, I um, think we're going to go, or maybe Bills Patriots, perhaps? Otherwise, we will just rock and roll. Or Dolphins. Dolphins are up for trade if anybody's interested in them. Matt's going to hold. Niners, up for trade, says Gabe. What about Dolphins for Niners? Otherwise, we'll just close up the trade window and we'll go. Gabe, what do you think? All right, trade window going once. Trade. Oh, Gilo's going to stay. All right, yeah, let's just close up the trade window. A lot of trade chatter, but... But no triggers pulled at the moment this time. I, I, I'm personally too terrified to trade. All 
I'd be like, I'd be like, what if there's like a like a Marino helmet in here or something like that, or a Joe Montana helmet? I don't know. <laughs> All right, here we go. So on a Saturday, thanks for spending a bit of your Saturday with us, folks. Our eight box Friday Night Lights random team football mixer. And you go Casey with that last spot mojo. And there's everyone else right here. All right. We're going to start with 2018 Elite Draft Picks Collegiate Edition. Good luck, everybody. Let me drop the schedule into the chat really quick. So if you're just joining us, you'll know where we are at this point of the evening. We are booked for the night, folks. Anything else that fills up after, uh, or anything else that fills up will happen on Wednesday when we're back from the Tops Industry Conference. I mentioned this in the previous mixer, and I'll mention it again for those of you who are watching that one. Um, these are all, all guys in their collegiate uniforms, and usually group rate checklist will uh, will associate them with a pro team, but I think for this set they did not do that, so we're going to go by our alternate rules after that. After the checklist, we'll go by um, our college rules, where if they're in their college uniform, they'll go to the team they're currently on, or if they retire, the team they play for the longest. or the pro team they were most recently associated with. Some players are in the CFL or the AAF. What happens at the Tops Conference? I don't know, they, they talk to us about new products that are coming up this year. What else they're doing with, with Tops products. I think there's a... There's a a guy from the WWE department that's going to be talking to us about stuff. That sounds interesting. And then, um, and then there'll be like a Star Wars guy from Tops talking about Star Wars stuff. So that's fun. All the other stuff. I don't know. All the other stuff. It's kind of yeah. We do get free stuff. That's true. Free stuff is cool. Some of the free stuff is going to pay for our trip. And the other other free stuff ends up... I, I gave away a lot of my free stuff last year. Like We had like backpacks and shirts and stuff like that. All right. Andrew Brown of Virginia sounds like a raven to me. False. He is a bangle. He's a defensive tackle for the bangles. And that one will go to Ron Cincinnati. Tony Barkey, we're on to Cincinnati. Greg, where, where is it at this year? We're on to Cincinnati. Sorry, Greg. We're on to Cincinnati. Uh, no, it's in Phoenix, <laughs> Scottsdale. By the time I get to Phoenix, you'll be rising. You'll leave a note right on the door. Remember that song? We got Fred Warner, who I think is a Niner. I know this guy. Come on, 49ers. We've seen him in, I think we've seen him in select breaks, right? Yes. A linebacker for the San Francisco 49ers. That goes to Gilo. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Yeah, it is. I think it's a Glenn Campbell song. The only reason why I know it, Bulldog fan, is that uh, in the movie Heat with Al Pacino, 
he kind of sings it. It was at the beginning of the, uh, sort of at the beginning of the movie. Where he goes into that chop shop and sits down at the little table. There's Marquise Haynes. It's where he says, give me all you got. Give me all you got. That scene. And he's like, he's like, Vincent, my brother Richard. My brother Richard is going to meet you this this p.m. or something, something like that, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, we're, we're, and Al Pacino asks, well, where's Richard now? And he's like, oh, see, my brother Richard, he in Phoenix. And then Al Pacino goes, ah, Phoenix. By the time I get to Phoenix, he'll be rising. He'll leave a note right on the door. Marquise Haynes is a Carolina Panther. It's a great movie, folks. If you've not seen the movie Heat with Al Pacino and uh, and Robert De Niro and Val Kilmer and Tone Loke and many other guys you'll recognize. I think there was a Judd in that movie. Ashley, I think. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a long movie, but it's pretty good. I think, I think it's on the flicks. You could probably get it on the Netflix. We were gone for three nights, folks. You're gonna miss us. So you're like, well, I guess we'll watch that movie Joe wanted me to watch. We got Keyshawn uh, Beria, linebacker for. He's from Carson, California. That's right down the street. Linebacker for the Denver Broncos. So Chris Parent with that. Yeah, great. Yeah, the shootout is like, it's, it has that classic bank shootout. Great movie directed by Michael Mann. Good LA movie. See the grittiness of mid-90s LA. That's the Bulldog thing saying, uh, Saying that's the that's the one movie that's the one thing you have in common with your father in law. That we both like that movie. You can watch it with your father in law. A lot of great Al Pacino quotes. Vincent, they dumped all of our communication. They what? They dumped all of our communication all at the same time. I had coffee with Macaulay half an hour ago. That's my Al Pacino impression. It's pretty good. <laughs> I could get my voice there. It would wreck my voice for the rest of the night, but if I could get it there if I needed to. There's Mike McCray. I have Rex. Baseball is back. Very excited about that. Mike McCray, a Wolverine. Um, is undrafted, but was associated last with the Miami Dolphins. So that goes to Daniel Anderson. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Eric Wine has a fun fact about the movie Heat. The final shootout scene is using the military for training on how to go from cover to cover. They use an officer's training. Huh. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. Uh, another fun fact about Heat, the movie Heat. Is that I know that um, they were the movie makers were very meticulous about getting the sound of each gun correct, right? So uh, the AR-15s that were used and all the automatics that were used and each handgun that was used, whether it was like a Beretta or a Glock or whatever the case may be, all those are are the what they should sound like gun wise. So when gun guys, when gun people go to the movies and they watch that movie, or if you're watching at home. You'll be like, yeah, that's what that sounds like. And that's what that's supposed to sound like. They say the sound mixing is incredible in that movie. So, and most, most movies don't do that. They'll just, they'll just use a standard Beretta 92F sound for like every, for every gun. You could be firing, James Bond could be shooting a Walther PPK and it would sound like a Beretta, right? Which it doesn't. Like, so they, they allegedly say, it's in the special feature somewhere. I love, I love this movie, by the way. It's one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, they allegedly say that it's they 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 got all the sounds correct, mostly correct, a lot better than a lot of standard action movies. 
We got Dorrance Armstrong Jr., who I feel like is a... I want to say he's on a cat team. No, he's a cowboy. Right, right, right. Dallas Cowboys, that goes to Greg Esfang. Uh, Alan, the movie Heat. Hank Azari's in that movie, too. Guy who does all those voices for The Simpsons. It's on the flicks, I think. And there you go. That was 2018 Elite Collegiate Football. I'm not going to watch local, local sports news. I'm going to flip over to NBA Network, I think. Oh, Michael Cooper's on the show. All right. Select football. Oh, I ended up on MLB Network. That's fine, too. Uh, oh, and going back to that Phoenix song, that uh, Phoenix Rising in Phoenix or whatever the song's called by Glenn Campbell. So I'd never heard the song before until recently when my cousins and I were talking about about Heat. We were having a family dinner and we were talking about it. And we were like, and we, were like and we all love the movie. Like, have, we like, have we ever heard that song before? And we're like, I don't think so. We only know the Al Pacino, the way Al Pacino sings it. And it's, it's bad, it's off key and all that sort of stuff. And we finally listen to it. It's quite a song. It, it goes across the country. So he, he, by the time he gets to Phoenix, and then by the time he gets to like El Paso, and by the time he gets to Birmingham, and by the time he gets to Charlotte, he goes across the country. Folks, we've got 18 more boxes of select football coming up a little bit later tonight. We've got a full case break followed by a half case random team break, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, Will saying back back when country music was good. Yeah, I can't really can't really do kind of modern country from like the late 90s on it's kind of difficult <laughs> there's Joey Bosa unless it's like indie country there's a lot, a lot of indie bands you just have a lot of country influences but in terms of like mainstream stuff there's Joey Bosa for the Chargers gold for Chris Parent nice And Dan Marino. Dan Marino relic for for Daniel Anderson, I think. Yeah, Daniel. Dan for Dan. 191 out of 199. Tried to trade. Couldn't trade Mojo. More gold. Michael Thomas. 1 out of 10 for the Saints. That'll be for Jarrett K. This select stuff has been pretty great. There's DJ Moore, red, for the Panthers. EO, Eric O, with the Panthers. Thirty-nine as seventy-five. There's Jamal Adams, nine out of ninety-nine. And we'll sleeve and top load all of those a little bit later. Just in inches of time, we're going to breeze through those. And we'll say the only thing he can handle nowadays is Chris Ableton, Sergio Simpson. There's Jersey and Otto, Mike White for the Cowboys. Greg S. Fang with the boys. Dallas Goddard. Or Dallas waiting for Godare, 74 out of 99. Eagles with that one. 
And a die cut, that's Dante Jackson. 57 out of 99. Fifty-seven out of ninety-nine on that one. All right, another box of select. Then we'll go into plates and patches. Two boxes of limited. Then the helmet. Then we'll close out with the encased card. Panini one football. What am I doing after this? Where's my schedule here? Oh, I'm doing the full caser after this. All right, I may have to take a quick five after this break and before the full caser. Maybe make a little coffee, re-energize myself, and then we'll dive into that full caser. Eric Wyant, I, th I was was that Eric who mentioned that a little bit of trivia? Yeah, Eric Wyant was talking about how at the end of the movie Heat, I was still thinking the, and the thing is still thinking about Heat. Um, at the end of the movie Heat, where uh, if you guys remember, it's not going to really spoil anything, but they are uh, Pacino is pursuing Robert De Niro, and they're running behind all these all these like uh, you know it's a '90s movie because they're at LAX. And they're just running around near the near the runways. There, you couldn't even get close to that on foot nowadays. But um, but uh, it was all about like they're they're running behind these big metal crates and stuff like that. And it makes sense. Was, I think there's like it's about watching watching your your six. I guess they say how to go around those corners in those situations. Lighting is important, where your shadows are. It's a lot to think about. Right, a good example of shooting and moving. 28 out of 99, Calais Campbell. Christian Kirk. To 199 for Curtis and the cards. Gus Edwards, 79 out of 99. Mm, no, not yet, Jose. That's our last break of the night. We still have a little bit of time until, until that one. Schedule in the chat right there. So 10.30-ish. Jersey and Auto, Darius Geis. Nice Geis for Brian Cook. Could be a nice sleeper running back. Candidate for your fantasy teams this upcoming season. Phil Rivers, 28 out of 99. 28, the number of children he has. And Dorsey Levins, 74 out of 199. Even if you're, um, you know, even if you're as wealthy as, as Philip Rivers, I feel like that's still a lot of kids, right? He has like eight or nine, ten kids, twelve kids, maybe. Seems overwhelming. They must have like they must have an army of like babysitters. That that has to be a reality show, right? After Philip Rivers retires, there's Shaquem Griffin for the Seahawks. That is 25 out of 99. <laughs> right? Yeah. Will has three, and he's like, "That's enough to make me enough to make the Pope cuss these days, some days." Yeah. I, I have zero children, and I get stressed out about. Having children. Um, DJ Moore, tie-dye die cut. 
I don't know. That has to be a reality show, though. I'd watch it. 10 out of 20. Philip Rivers? I don't, what, what, what is his wife's name? Good on her, too. <laughs> what a trooper. Well, there was, there was another sh reality show back then. Was it like John and Kate plus eight or something like that? This couple that had eight, eight kids, something? I don't know. No one cares about those guys. I care about former former quarterback, former NFL quarterback, Phillip Rivers and their children. So that's, gonna be, that's a good reality show. Do it, Phil. All right, from plates and oh, this is plates and passages from Luminance Football is Dallas Goddard. Remember when the, remember when the Eagles snagged him f away from the Cowboys? I remember. Daniel Anderson with the Eagles. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. One out of 50. Yeah, Will has three, Chris Hale. Uh, Bulldog, from, Will, is that, is three it? I feel like three is weird now. You got to have even numbers, I feel like. There's three out of 20 full coverage. Michael Thomas. I like the big relics here. Big three color patch going to the Saints. That'll be for Jarrett K. I I feel like you got to have even numbers. Or else you get that weird middle child. Three, is your middle child listening to? He's like, Daddy, you just call me weird? I don't mean that you're weird, but... Uh, Sean Lee, 4 out of 49, upper echelon autograph. That's not, you don't see a lot of Sean Lee autos. That goes to Greg Esfang and the Cowboys. 3 for sure, and a doctor made sure of that. Okay. And there's Leonard Fournette right there. That goes to the Jags. All right. Limited football. All right, let's do two boxes of limited. Let's get limited. Limited. I want to get limited. Let's get into limited. Oh, Chris, you got a you got a ten year old with autism. Well, that's a handful. All right, here are your base cards. All about the base, about the base. I don't know which one I should do. I'm try I always try to find the relic first. Okay, there it is. There's Kenyon Drake, twenty one out of forty nine, and Christian McCaffrey. Jersey, 6 out of 75. Panthers, EO, with a little cat team mojo. Oh, Redemption back there. All right. And Evan Ingram reveals a Neam Hines, 14 out of 15. Nice. All right. That's for the Colts. That'll go to Ira Ease. Moreno. With the Colts. What do we got here? We have... DJ Moore, RPA, Rookie Patch Autographs for the Panthers. That goes to EO with DJ.
Nice. Another box of 2018 limited football. We're almost there, folks. Almost there. We're getting there. And put your thinking caps on, folks, for the Who Am I game. Ooh, is that a book? Kind of felt like a book. Sometimes you feel like a book. It's a book. Nice. All right. You want it to be a good book, of course. Those are all the base cards. All right. Behind James White is Jamon Moore, who's, who's been giving us a bit of extra in the recent recent releases. A 38 out of 199, Green Bay Packers, Casey Lawson, last spot mojo, two-color patch and autograph. Six out of 10, Miles Garrett reveals a D.D. Westbrook. One of one, Nike swoosh. <laughs> Boom. That is pretty sweet. That goes to Jeremy Cote and the Jaguars. Limitless Nike swoosh. Jeremy, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! It's nice to get out of a mixer and a book too. Rich Schmidt is in the house. Up, Rich. He's thinking uh, Baker Mayfield book. This guy's teammate. That would certainly make uh, certainly make Iraiz Moreno very happy. It's gonna be Bam. Oh, I had it right the first time. It's Josh Rosen. Three color patch and autograph. That's the jersey from draft night right there. Rich, you were on the right track with a quarterback, but unfortunately a different team. So sorry, Iraiz. But congrats to Curtis Gardner with the 40 out of 55 draft day signature. Nice. All right. Who am I? America's favorite game. Now, TriStar actually gives you a little informational card here. You can use that. All right. Who am I? I'm an eight-time Pro Bowl selectee, a six-time first-team All-Pro selection, selectee, I guess. I am on the NFL 75th anniversary all-time team. I'm part of the NFL 1970s all-decade team. I am a four-time Super Bowl champion, four chips, four rings. Part of, uh, was in the Football Hall of Fame in 1988, Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1988. Um, College Football Hall of Fame in 1990. I can also be found in the uh, in the deli section of your grocery store. We got the right team, Greg, Mark, and Garrett. Right team, wrong player. There you go. Mark Nation's got it. Jack Ham, gold ink autograph. No, not Jack Pastrami, Garrett. 
Jack Ham Hall of Fame 88 inscription. There's the Steelers logo right there. Nice. Oh, there it is. There's the, uh, who is that? Oh, that's that's the TriStar authentication sticker right there. And there's their, their little card right there. Eric Newton with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Nice. Let's get that posted noted right there. There you go. All right, and the last box of this eight box Friday Night Lights random team football mixer number three. Thanks for hanging with us. Thanks for joining the breaks. All right, and the last one here. We have, wow. 42 out of 49, James Washington. Two Steelers to close things out. So there's Eric Newton with the black and yellow. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That is the end. Appreciate everybody getting in. That was a nice mixer. Thanks, everybody, for joining and hanging out in the chat and all that jazz. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you for 